Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome to the 162nd episode of the Android Apps Weekly Show. Let's get right into those headlines. Google has released a tool this week to help those in the United States who want to vote. As we all know, voting is important and everyone should get out to do so if they can. You can now ask Google, how do I register to vote? And you'll get all of the information that you need to find out how to register, find your polling station, and more. Election day is coming, friends. Make sure you're ready to go. Google Play is hosting a pretty decent little game sale this week. Games like Lost Echo, Grim Fandango, Broken Age, Odd World, Stranger's Wrath, Republic, and several others are on the block. Some of the games are going for as high as 90% off. Some of the sale may be over by now, but it's worth checking out if you're looking for some new games to play. Facebook is considering launching their Free Basics application in the United States. For those who don't know, Free Basics allows people to access some websites online for free even if you don't have the internet. They're targeting people who live in low income and rural areas. Word is that Facebook is in talks with the White House on releasing the service without having to deal with regulatory authorities, and we'll see how that goes. As it turns out, you can get Google Assistant on your device with just some minor edits. You'll need root, obviously, but otherwise all you really have to do is change your build prop so that it reads as though you own a Pixel. After that, Assistant should more or less work for you. It's not a perfect solution, and you'll need to have a device running the latest version of Android Nougat. It's a good way to see how the new feature works. The latest Humble Bundle is now live. This week, there are a total of eight games up for grabs, including Prism, Saga Solitaire, Goat Simulator, and more. You can pay $1 or more and get three of the games, beat the average to get six games, or pay a flat $5 to get every game. It's a great way to give to charity and stock up on some awesome games to play. LinkedIn Learning is an education-based app that aims to teach people things about business, technology, and creativity. It boasts 4,000 courses that feature the ability to be downloaded for offline viewing. You'll be able to put certificates of completion on your LinkedIn profile and share the courses with your network. We don't imagine you'll learn anything particularly complex, but it should be fun to brush up on some basic concepts. It's free to download and free to use. The latest FIFA game has landed. The annual release features 30 leagues, 650 teams, and a roster of over 17,000 players. This year's rendition also features enhanced gameplay, some polish here and there, and other various updates. For what it's worth, the game looks fantastic and plays rather well. However, the game does seem to be dealing with some early release bugs, and many are complaining about server issues. It's a free download with in-app purchases, so it won't cost you anything to check it out. Sprayscape is a fun little application that kind of lets you paint a 360 degree sphere with pictures from your camera. How it works is you start with a blank sphere. You then point your camera at something and tap the app. The image will then appear on the inside of the sphere. You can move around and take pictures this way until you have a really unique collage. Some have compared this to Google's Photosphere, although the two really aren't the same thing. You can try it out for free if you want to. Playboy has released an official application for their magazine. Surprisingly, it's a completely safe for work endeavor and aims to bring you the kind of editorial content that the magazine is famous for. It features a basic design and simple use, which is good news. You can buy single issues if you want a specific one, or you can subscribe for $17.99 per year. Anyone who is a fan of the magazine should definitely check it out. You can also preview issues before you buy them or spend any additional money. Crap I'm Broke is a life simulation and management game. The idea of the game is to do everyday things like going to work and cleaning your house to avoid things like eviction, starvation, and other potential problems. It uses a unique graphical style and it's fairly simple to play. Along the way, you'll even do things like make New Year's resolutions that you'll inevitably break and engage with a karma system that has no problem with messing up your life. It's $1.99 with no in-app purchases. For even more Android apps and games news, releases, and updates, don't forget to check out this week's newsletter, which is linked in the video description below. There you'll find a bunch of information that we didn't have time for here. If you'd like to sign up for the newsletter, you can use the form which is in the written companion which is also linked in the video description below and we'll send it to you every Sunday. Also, don't forget to check out the Android Authority app for even faster updates. And that about does it for this one, folks. If you want to keep watching, we have the latest Gary Explains video linked up there on the screen and in the video description below. Don't forget to sign up for that newsletter and keep it tuned to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.